Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today for another video on uh, doing a project and I'm hoping this will help out some of uh, you others out there on whatever car you might be working on. But um, I am doing this on my 2009 Corolla Turbo and today I'm underneath the car, it's up on my lift and uh, easier access. But I am going to be replacing these, my exhaust hangers. So the hangers that are on here right now are rubber and uh they're just they don't look to be in terrible shape but i figured <clears throat> i picked up some polyurethane ones a package of them here and <clears throat> i'm gonna slip these on one thing that you need to do this to make your life really simple is an exhaust hanger tool it amazes me how many people I see doing videos on YouTube and they don't have one of these and they're more of a full-time mechanic type person than I am but these are not expensive and as soon as you use them once <laughs> you'll be glad you did so let's go ahead and get everything set up and I'll show you how to use these right here and we'll get going you appreciate doing videos like this and trying to help out other people and I sure would appreciate doing uh hitting the like and subscribe and trying to get more people that watch the videos to subscribe because only about five percent of people do so so it would be nice get a little help but these things right here are fantastic so you just simply put this flat part behind the the rubber and then this part right here on the knob it slips over and you just press and it pops it right off it's the simplest thing because these can be very frustrating to get off so then do the same thing on the other side and the old one is off I said they're not terrible looking but sometimes I use a little bit of a of a lubricant to get to make it slide over here. The the ones on the car, on the inner side of the car, are larger than the hangers. Usually these will slide on pretty easily on the, the muffler pipes. But the ones on the car, this is a bigger piece of metal that they welded on at the factory. So it needs a little bit more help there. So let me get some lubricant and spray that. Now this is just some uh, silicone spray so. and it's just enough to help work it on there and make it a little bit easier still takes some Still takes some effort on there. There we go. Now that is on there. Now I'm going to use a flat head screwdriver just to try to get a little more leverage. done. Let's go ahead and take this one off. I tell you, I used to struggle with these things and uh, not anymore. It's great. Yeah. Okay. One, two. Grab another. There we go. I don't know if I sprayed that one. I guess I did. <laughs> I remember. 
Perfect. Perfect. Okay. okay so now that those two are done, I'll move back to the muffler area. So here is the one above the, the muffler. Here's the muffler right here. So I just thought I would show that to you real quick. I'm going to do the same process I did up on the two front ones, but uh, trying to, I just can't find a good way to place the camera so that you can see it and it's not in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one real quick. There it is installed. It was just trying to get the tool in to get it off this that was the hard part. So on this one, then since this has got an angled piece right here, I went ahead and slid it on the smaller piece and then up over the big one with the little silicone on there. It went on real easily. So, cause all I had to do was lift up on the muffler a little bit to get it to reach. So that one is done and there's one more to do right there. So the rear most one, it's kind of the same thing because the shop did this so with the curve so it's going to be easier to take off the top and then just work it around the bend in the pipe there so i will go ahead and let's put a little lubricant on it and work that sucker off i will point out that one of the biggest pain in the butts doing this is sometimes just getting the camera placed <laughs> it's like and uh, where it's not actually in your way, because that's the problem. It's almost always in my way. So, hope you guys appreciate this kind of stuff. amazes me how before I bought this tool I used to fight with these things so much there we go oh, <laughs> so you can keep hitting it because it is in the way okay so now one left because I bought a pack of four. So let's do a little more. So I'm going to do this the same way I did the previous one that I couldn't show you. So this just slips around pretty easily and then this since you can lift the tailpipe I just got to make sure you're there we go lined up with the hole Perfect. Now that just has a lot less play in it. Oh yeah, there's a job well done. That's what I'm talking about. Small improvements all the time. All right guys, all done. Please like, subscribe, appreciate it. I hope you guys appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you down the road.